Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Oluwa Shell. Um, I believe in life, health is wealth. No, let me scratch that and say health is wealth. It is a known fact. So I'm pleading with whoever is watching this video, anywhere you are, wherever you are, to please let us make our health a priority. It is important to look after ourselves. And I believe in life too. It is important to be able to say no to some certain things. Do not overwork yourself to death. This is also a wake-up call for me as well. Um, although I'm not in the healthcare industry anymore, but um, you know, I see most of my colleagues at work, especially during the summer period, they go on holiday. And I used to wonder, how could you, how can you go on holiday? How can you spend that much money on holiday and all of that? But see, last year in December, I went on holiday myself. Oh God, it was so relaxing. It was, I was relaxed. I was free from all stress. I think before, all through the year, I was tensed up. But you know, after, I mean... At my destination, I felt so relaxed and all the tension just left. I walked, I ate, you know, something like so. And I'm like, oh, so this is what these people used to enjoy. Ah, uh, so now I'm the advocate of telling people, see, eh, take holiday or go on holiday. Or, and I don't think you have to spend a lot of money to go on holiday. There are places in this United Kingdom that you can go to. In within the United Kingdom itself that you can go to just for maybe two, three days and just relax. You know, release yourself for some sudden stress. Take a walk, take a stroll, go to the beach. You know, just do something to take your mind off work, off responsibility. Because I know the country is hard. I know we have responsibility. I know there are people relying on, on us from back home. Yes, I know. But we cannot walk ourselves to death. Mm? It is important to be able to, you know, to, to put ourselves first. Let us learn to put ourselves first in all situations. Yeah, I know you can say, oh, it is selfish, it is selfish. But at the end of the day, if someone should just psh, go off now, do you think people are not going to live their life? Do you think the world is going to stop for us? No, I don't think so. So let us try as much as possible to put ourselves first. Let us look after ourselves. And the um, important thing that I want us to take away from this video today is let's learn to say no to some certain workload. Especially in this healthcare field. Learn to say no. When they are giving you too many patients or something, just tell them, I don't think my capacity can take, take this. Please just give me this so that I know I can manage this patient very, very well. Remember last week that I made a video about a particular nurse that forgot to replace the mask of the service user, which led to the death of that service user. Stress can be one contributing factor to that as well. People tend to be forgetful. Or oh, there are so many clients or service users to attend to. Definitely, there's going to be a sleep in the crowd. I mean, there's going to be a cramming in sleep at one point in time. You know what I mean? Yeah, so let's just... let's. It's important here yeah, to be able to say no, put ourselves first and um, prioritize our health. So the news I'm sharing today is not entirely a very, it's not, not entirely, it's a very sad one. Because we lost uh, one of our sisters, we lost a, a, a nurse that died as a result, I want to believe as a result of cardiac um, arrest. But before I move on in this video, if you're coming across my video for the first time and you like what I do here, please subscribe if you keep watching and you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please subscribe turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i upload a new video and to all my returning subscribers to the new one thank you so much thank you thank you i do not take the love for granted so this incident happened in nigeria but um i think the region that it happened doesn't really matter because i feel this thing this whole thing cuts across even if you're living in the United States, if you're living in UK, if you're living in any part of Europe, I think when it comes to the healthcare field, there is a shortage going on somehow, somehow. I don't know how, what is happening, really. There's a shortage of nurses, of doctors. Even in NHS here, yeah, they keep complaining and the nurses are complaining of the workload and also complaining that they are not getting paid enough 
you know so yeah and so this incident happened in um, nigeria it happened in some farah state yeah one of the nurses just um passed out and she died so i'm just going to be reading it for us now it's not like i said it's not a good one it's a very sad one but i think there is a point or two that we can take away from from this video that because it's a it's a rude um awakening for me as well despite the fact that i'm not in the healthcare field i think yeah it's important now to actually prioritize my health it's important now to actually put myself first because when something happens god forbid bad thing life goes on people you leave behind they will still move on with their life yeah so let me just read so a nurse um working at a specialist hospital in zamfara state um by the name liwani she just slumped and died while discharging her duty in the hospital so it was reported that she was ill and acting when she arrived at the hospital for work in the early hours of wednesday i think last week wednesday but she was confirmed dead a few hours after she resumed um, duty the hospital spokesman said um, um, that um, she was performing a duty at the clinic and she checked the blood pressure of about 30 patients imagine 30 no one not two not 10 not 15 30 patients see i've worked in uh, when i was a support i mean was when i was an healthcare assistant and i worked at the hospital and i see the way people work and i remember that time i wasn't i was not um you know walking around the world i was assigned to one-to-one -one. <laughs> i said assigned i was with a particular patient so it was a one-to-one -one shift i so i had to sit down through and i see the way nurses and healthcare assistants that work in us i see the way they walk i'm not saying walking I, I mean the way they trek about the hospital back and forth to and fro and you have some patients they are always pressing their bell pew pew oh i'm like who I told my agency, please, oh, don't take me to the hospital again. Never again. So imagine when people do this every day, the stress. Imagine people doing this every day. So this particular woman now, she checked the blood pressure of about 13 patients before she complained of cardiac issue to a doctor. Speaking further, the hospital spokesman said that after her complaint, she immediately slumped. And the doctor rushed to save her. The medical doctors tried all they could to save her life, but they couldn't as she died instantly. According to the hospital spokesman, that is Mr. Usman, um, they said they've handed the cops to the relative of the deceased and also um, it, it was confirmed that she was in a Nazi by the time she came into the hospital in the morning and um, she never complained of any health um, issue. So she's been buried. My, my, what's it called? My, my sympathies goes out to the family of the deceased. I hope they find um, fortitude to bear the loss. And may her soul rest in peace. But this is a very important lesson to us that we are still alive. That we should take life easy. We should try as much as possible to prioritize ourselves. But one important lesson I want you to take away from this video is that let's learn to say no. 30 patients for a particular nurse is too much. It is too much. And um, yeah, it's a lot. How? How can she by herself manage 30 patients just walking on the ward, walking, 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 walking? And if you've been to an hospital in Nigeria before, you will know that that place is always busy. No wonder some of the nurses are always they are not nice. Majority of them are not nice. They keep shouting. You can't force them at a particular point in time because the work is stressful already. Like I said, I did this job um, for a while. I mean, healthcare assistant, not a nurse now. So you wonder what the nurse will be going through. Like being, I was an healthcare assistant for, for, I think, a little over two years or three years plus. It was mentally draining. It was physically exhausting. So not to talk of people that are doing it every day and some people are doing like 60 hours in a week just to make ends meet please let us let's i know there are responsibilities i know there are bills to pay i know maybe there are debts at home too let's just take it easy enjoy please enjoy in your in english language means please let's take it easy
Hmm? Let's take it easy. Let's prioritize our health. Even if we need to walk like that, let's, you know, let's check our, probably our BP. Yeah, I started doing that for myself now. I started checking my own BP. I reduced my sugar because I've been saying I'm trying to lose weight. So please, let's put our health first. Let's put our life first. We come first in everything. I know it might sound selfish, but at the end of the day, you come first. You know, you come first. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've been able to learn one or two things from um, this video. And um, yeah, moving forward, I hope we all learn to prioritize ourselves in, in life. Thank you all. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.